reply to that rejection email. If you've ever received a rejection email after a job application, you know how frustrating and discouraging it can be. So in this video, I will show you how to turn that rejection into an opportunity. If you're new here, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. If you're a returning subscriber, I do not. Take your consistent support for granted. Thank you for clicking this video. Let's get started. So you've applied to that job with so much hope and enthusiasm, but you got the I regret, we regret email. No, don't delete it. I get. Yeah, I mean, what do you want me to do? Let's craft a response for them. Why? I know you're tempted to ask me, Mfon, why bother? It is what it is. No friend, it's not. For the emails that are open to responses, because there are some that will tell you you cannot reply to this email, blah, blah, blah. The ones that are open for replies are our targets. Now, let me tell you why you need to respond to that email. That rejection email might just be an oversight, a mistake. Watch this. So I applied for a job using one of my infallible CVs, you know, with all the confidence in the world, knowing that I was the perfect candidate, the perfect fit. And tell me why I see, unfortunately, we've decided not to proceed further with your application. No way, Jose. If you know me, I'm not going to have this. We are not able to provide any feedback. And so what did I do? May I know why I wasn't selected for future reference, please? And guess what happened? Hi, Nina. Really sorry. I went through so many that I was confused. Of course you were confused. It was, this is emotionally stressed type of energy. Is the what, what are you thinking? How, what, the, what the, <clears throat> You get it now because somebody might just be having a bad day at work and then so this is one of the reasons why you need to respond to rejection emails. Okay, it's not a mistake. It's real. It's happening. This is the deal. It's a reality. Yes, no problem. What did I do wrong? Another reason why you need to respond to that rejection email is to get feedback. Replying to that email could help you identify areas you need to improve on, whether it's your CV or your interview skills, or during the interview, there is a question you didn't answer correctly, or there's something you didn't do, experience or skills look. This will give you an insight on areas you need to work on for your next interview or for your next application. This is actually for employers who care to respond. But regardless, your part is to send the email. There's no harm in sending the email. It's up to them to respond to the email. Play your part. You're not asking this for them. You're asking for you. So give it a shot. Now I've got a format for you that you can tweak to suit your situation. Subject, appreciation for the opportunity and feedback. Dear the hiring manager's name, if you don't know the hiring manager's name, just dear hiring manager is enough. I hope this message finds you well. I want to express my sincere appreciation for the opportunity to interview for the human resource manager position at Citari Consulting. It was a pleasure learning more about the team and the exciting work being done. While I am disappointed to learn that I was not selected for the role, I want to thank you and the entire team for your time and consideration throughout the hiring process. I am grateful for the chance to showcase my skills and experience. If possible, I would greatly appreciate any feedback you could provide to help me understand areas of improvement. Constructive insights are invaluable as I continue to grow in my career. I remain genuinely impressed by Zitari Consulting and its commitment to providing bespoke writing services to clients around the world. Please keep me in mind for future opportunities that align with my skills and qualifications. I am enthusiastic about the possibility of contributing to the success of your team. Thank you once again. Best regards, Fun Akman. So that's the format you can use. You can always come back and watch this video, pause it, and get a few points that aligns with your situation. To make your response stand out, consider adding a personal touch. Reference a specific aspect of the interview or the company's culture that resonated with you. This not only shows your sincerity, but also leaves a positive impression for potential future opportunities. 
watch this video on how to write a standout resume so that's it friend if you find value in this video kindly give it a thumbs up share with your friends and families i will see you in the next one